everybody and welcome back to this video nice job this, um, this is um, You've been performing well and that's putting us in a the opening of this video is the final wise. part of well, last year's recordings i've had this video so sat on my hard drive since the final race of the season because obviously i've just moved to the mercedes team following my uh, season three campaign where i captured the driver's championship driving for Haas and I've now accepted a contract to come in as the new Mercedes number one. Valtteri Bottas has been dropped and Lewis has been demoted down to number two looking at that or at least I'm hoping that. Um, just going to be taking out obviously some of the races this year. I'm not doing a 23 race calendar or whatever it is this year. I'm going to do 16 races so I'm going to remove some circuits I'm going to run a slightly condensed, um, slightly condensed format to the season this year. Fewer races, just to make life a little bit easier for me and less physically demanding on me to actually do the races and do the recordings. Because man, do I struggle to play this game. <laughs> do I struggle with my real world disabilities and health issues. Um, I'm finding it very tough. I've not played this game, by the way, since last year since the last video was posted um so i'm gonna be probably very rusty coming into this uh, new season and in fact when i actually get onto the the video that i recorded today i probably repeat a lot of this in the beginning of that video i'm going to be trying this season to record all the videos live as well so uh, i'm not going to be doing commentary and post um, they're going to be the com commentary is going to be recorded as I'm doing the videos. The videos are going to be done in one take, one sitting, and whatever happens, happens. You know, as you will see by me changing the rules in a minute, going to turn off all the instant replays, flashbacks, all that kind of stuff. You know, I'm going to play it absolutely legit this time, hardcore. I've got the realistic damage mod installed. So if it goes wrong, it goes wrong. I'm not going to be restarting races every five minutes. I mean, I didn't do that last season. I haven't done that actually in the series so far, but I don't want to do it, you know. <laughs> I don't want to be spending an entire day recording a video. So if I crash in the race, I crash. We move on to the next one. And we'll see where the season goes from there. Is the car reveal brand new for this season busting open the uh, the new car is absolutely magical can't wait to drive this mercedes this car should feel amazing compared to the Haas. even though my Haas was a championship winning car it should feel amazing to drive and I'm really looking forward to it I just hope I do the Mercedes team proud <laughs> that's the only thing hope I can live up to the to the honor of being in the Mercedes team the good thing is all our departments have three star three star spec which is the thing I hated about Haas we never invested in the factories which meant we reached kind of like the the upper limit as far as developments whereas looking here at Mercedes We've got a whole load of options to invest in, in terms of upgrades. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to season three of F1 2020. Um, here we are. Michael Schumacher about to start his third season. And as you can see, we are in our new team. We're here at Mercedes and um yeah we're looking forward to the season obviously got seven time world champion lewis hamilton as our teammate for the year ahead um we've got a good weekend ahead of us here at the bahrain grand prix the opening round of the season three champion and we've uh, driver retirement so Kimi retired, Vettel retired, 
we've got a lot of opening objectives. Um, I also should point out very early on <laughs> in this video that I've not played this game since I completed Season 2. I've not done any Formula 1 over the winter. Um, literally starting it up today as obviously the real life F1 season also starts today with the Bahrain Grand Prix. We've got Bahrain P1 and P2 today on the Friday as I record this video. We've got qualifying tomorrow and then the race on Sunday. So the new season of Formula 1 in real life is starting. So I'm coming back to start my Formula 1 season 2. But I've not... I've not done any any practice in this game um, since, since last season. Um, so I'm expecting to be very rusty. So practice one. Obviously, we're going to do a couple of the practice programs. Get our get our car tuned in for that. Uh, and see how we go from there. Um, obviously big changes for this season. I've disabled a lot of things. I've completely disabled instant replays and flashbacks and stuff like that. So I've got no option to use any of that at all this season. So if I crash, that's it. We're done. We are done. <laughs> um, uh, let me get my car set up, loaded. Uh, let me go Bahrain. Some customizationing. Have uh, ten laps of fuel, please. We have a number of programs to run during these practice sessions. You can check the details in the car monitor. We'll get good data for both Just the race and the factory ride teams, so they're well worth there. running. Because obviously, we know how this goes. Typically speaking, um, right. Let's have a look then. Practice sessions. Let's go do. Uh, first one out of the gate should probably be tyre management. And the reason I say tyre management is because that's usually the easiest one to do. I don't want to be worrying about hitting gates. Um, to be sure you can manage the tyres through a lap, so try to keep the wear down through each corner. Be especially careful accelerating on corner exit. First time driving the Mercedes. You see how this compares, obviously, to the Haas that I drove last season. I'm expecting big things from this car. I'm expecting it to be a lot more glued to the circuit than my Haas was. Even though my Haas obviously did me very well, served me very well in my World Championship bid. Job well done. We got some excellent data with that run, so come on back to the garage and I can talk you through the numbers. Back to the pits then. We'll do ERS management, 
probably next. Then we'll do fuel management, lift and coast. Uh, track acclimatization, I probably am not going to bother with. Driving through the little flipping gates. <laughs> Whoa! Okay. There's a spin. See, that's what's going to catch me out this year. There's three laps of fuel remaining. I'm going to be able to rewind those. <laughs> Remove those little errors. If I do that in a race, that's going to be very, very costly. I'm going to work on my right foot control a little bit. Feed that power in. And also, my racecraft. Because, um, let's be realistic here. I've not raced in this game since November, was it, last year? December last year? Um, I'm going to be very, very bad at overtaking cars. And if one thing is a guarantee, hitting cars with the realistic damage mod installed, which I have, is pretty terminal. Um... So I really need to very quickly get my um, get my overtaking craft back in again. Don't want to be tripping over cars if I can help it. Right. So next, uh, we'll do the ERS. We'll go back out on the same tyres. And again, generally speaking, what I'm going to try and do this year as well is make sure that as I go through the, um, like, Q3 on um, P3, I'm probably not going to do any running in we're P3. Looking at ERS management. This is all about managing your battery efficiently throughout the lap to hit your target time. The overtake button will drain the battery quickly, but it will also give you maximum power. probably going to do the whole, um, like I say, I'm not going to do any running in P3 because of, um, P3 is obviously going to be bad because that's when we have the race um, engine and gearbox in the car. Um, so we don't want to be doing any excess mileage and potentially inviting um, failures or pen potential season penalties, you know. Smash the uh, ERS okay, management. Test complete, and that was a very good job indeed. We got a lot of valuable information out of that. What's my lap time at the minute? My best is a 126. So I'm actually faster than the real Formula One guys at the minute. <laughs> I'm actually faster than the real guys. I think one, thir one minute 30 was the quickest time in P1 this morning. I saw from Max Verstappen. So I'm four seconds faster than Max Verstappen. That's good. Nice to know. Okay, just want to remind you to keep an eye on your tyre temperatures, which you can do on the temperature panel of the MFD. We monitor carcass temperature and surface temperature, and you'll get the best performance when they're both inside a normal operating window. 
Surface temps tend to fluctuate faster, so try a few laps with the data open and get a feel for how to control them. Basically, don't slide around on the um, road surface is the best way to minimise your uh, tyre temperatures. What engine mode am I running, by the way? Standard. So I'm not even doing like... So I'm, I'm, I'm a 1 minute 26 running in standard engine mode. Hmm. What happens when I crank that up to rich? <laughs> Would I have been faster? Quite possibly. Right then, folks, let me get cracking on through these um, programs and through practice, and I'll bring you guys back in a few moments for qualifying. Okay, so we're about to head into qualifying, and at the end of free practice three, I was given my rival for the my first rival of the new season, which happens to be the man I have replaced at Mercedes. Valtteri Bottas now racing in my old car, Haas. So that is my first rival for the upcoming season. Um, another thing to look at, which I didn't notice until I was going through the uh, timing screens, was that uh, George Russell is now driving for Alfa Romeo. He's left Williams and been replaced by Kevin Magnussen, um, who has jumped in at Williams. So Mag K Mag obviously was not in the previous season because obviously. I took his seat and also the retiring Sebastian Vettel has been replaced by um, Nick the Threes at Ferrari so yeah a couple of interesting driver changes there for the upcoming season but you want to obviously see me get into qualifying and obviously stick the Mercedes on pole start the season on a positive and look to build a successful title defence from this point on. The one thing I am very disappointed about when I check my driver details is that I haven't been given a Constructors' Championship credit for last season because I left Haas to join Mercedes, apparently. Information time. We've lost oil pressure. Looks like a leak somewhere in the system. We're on standby for the time being until we can patch it up. Oh, this is not good. This this also hit me in um, free practice too as well. We had a DRS issue where my DRS wouldn't work in free practice too. And I had to do my race strategy without DRS. So I did five laps of race strategy with no DRS, which for a lot of people are probably going to say that's actually not a bad thing because that's probably, probably close to what an actual... If you want to know specific information or um, make certain changes to the car during the pit stop, race would you can be like, tell me what you want over the radio. Often when I'm Press out in and front, hold the radio button to activate the system, and you can either speak the command or select it I manually from the radio screen that will appear on the multifunction display. While the radio is active, the cycle through command groups with the DRS LFD button. The car out in front. Right, we probably want to be heading to the track, but I'm thinking, where is everybody? Because the last thing I want to be doing is getting into traffic. Uh, let's do it though. Can't make any more changes to the car setup. But let's try Q1. Obviously, we're not worried about breaking records on the timesheets in Q1. Just want a good solid lap. Probably do without George Russell being in front of me. So you wonder if George Russell's left the Mercedes camp here in this season. Joining Alpha, that's a Ferrari team. Do you think maybe his lack of uh, promotion by Mercedes to the to the A team has um 
meant he's actually ditched them? Well, if that was the case, he's actually just done me a favour there because he's letting me buy. He's realised I'm on a fast lap. So he doesn't want to compromise me too much. gently on this corner because that is still a spot where I seem to spin the car very very easily. Same with this corner as well, very easy to spin out of that one. But other than that I seem to have uh, found the footing. Oh I just couldn't quite keep the track there and a little bit late getting on the power but like I say this is not where we need to be quick. We just need to make sure we're not in that drop zone. I mean, let's be fair. If I'm ever in the, uh, if I'm ever eliminated from Q1, I've done something drastically wrong. You've just put in the fastest lap. Good job. One twenty-five point one. That is fast. That's a fast lap time, kids. That's exactly my point. Oh. Gotta watch this car. This car will will try to kill you <laughs> if you uh, if you get on the power in the wrong point with the balance There's only one in the wrong lap of fuel remaining. Let me uh, just dial all that back. We'll have a nice coast back to the pits. Try and clean the tyres up a little bit. Because we may need these again this weekend. Although, to be fair, I've probably flat spotted them with that spin, so I probably ought to be handing these ones back. That's something I wish Codemasters would actually put into the game. For the next game, the ability to flat spot tyres if you lock up on that, and then obviously have that affect your uh, your performance and times. You know what? They didn't give me a lot, a lot of fuel, did they, to do this uh, volley run? Look at that, me and Lewis, one and two on the timesheet, Verstappen in third, Ocon fourth, Norris down there as well. It's what we kind of expect, I imagine, to be the running order this year. I'm pretty comfortable with that 125. I don't think many people are likely to uh, match that. So uh, let's uh, head over to Q2, shall we? Seven minutes remaining. Nick De Vries there, Carlos Sainz, Lando Norris, Perez, Bottas, Ricardo. So yeah, Bottas as my rival. I feel pretty comfortable with that one. Obviously the stupid podium point experience things. I'm never going to be spending any money on this rubbish. Um, so I won't be buying any podium pass points. So I'm never going to unlock any of that junk. Right. Mike. So, yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you what, two seconds faster than Lewis. Maybe I went a bit too quick in that session. Just maybe I went a little bit too quick. But obviously what we're going to do now is we're going to strap on the mediums, for me. Um, and I'm going to qualify on my medium tyres, as my strategy is always to be on the fast tyre, the better tyre, the harder tyre. I much prefer the harder tyres in this game. I don't like the softs. Give me medium and hards any day of the week and I will take those. Yeah. 
We've got all the toys. We've got Max Fuel, Hot Lap, ERS deployment. I ain't got to worry. I was getting a little bit of a toe down that straight, which just made my braking point a little bit different. Just caused me to go a little bit deeper than I want because I was carrying a little bit more speed than I was expecting. Keep the power in very gently in that out of that corner. Same in this one. who exactly is in front of me but he's giving me a good time it's a Renault Fantastic. That was the fastest lap. 124.7. Wow. I went even faster than my Q1 time. Oh, I'm starting to uh, lose the cobwebs. Lose the rust. I'm remembering how to play this game. He's uh, looking like he's taken to a duck to water to this car. There's only one lap of fuel remaining. Pitting this lap then, come into the pits at the end of this lap. So that should be comfortably into Q3. Shouldn't need to worry about any, uh, any uh, issues with that. Should be Q3, hot and done. And as I'm watching the P2 coverage live at the moment, Kimi Raikkonen's just demolished the front end of his uh, Alfa Romeo. Well done, Kimi, you superhero. <laughs> Kimmy's a superstar, isn't he? Right then, that's uh, P1. This is P1. Bottas, surprisingly, in second place currently. Where is uh, our boy Lewis? Where is my boy Lewis? He's not in the top 10. Has Lewis got a problem? Is he not going to be a number two driver to support me? Hmm. No, Lewis was down in 13th place. Oh my lord. That's not great. And Vol Bottas somehow gets the Haas into second. I mean, I know that Haas car is good because obviously I put a lot of work into it last year and developed it. It's probably the second best car on the grid. Um, but still, Bottas shouldn't be doing that well in it. Obviously, they've still got Bottas stats far too overinflated, Codemasters. 
Sorry, Codies. You've definitely got Bottas's uh, stats way overinflated. Because he's not that quick. He's not that good. Right. The pole position. Up for grabs. Let's do it. Start the season as we finish the last one. Too deep into that corner. Again, I'm just trying to find where the limits are with this car, where I can break, where I can't. <laughs> and no, probably shouldn't be doing that in Q3. That should have been done probably in practice way before now, but. I've been building my confidence all through the weekend, um, all through the sessions. Um, I'm just getting a little bit braver now. The good thing is, if I can get a front row start, it's going to also take care of the thing that I was hoping to avoid, which was a mid-pack start, because obviously I haven't done much wheel-to-wheel -wheel racing. And the last thing I wanted to be doing was having that whole first corner Debate. Give it the full beans all the way to the line. That's the fastest lap so far. Well done. Woo. I'll spun it again. Good job I don't need these tyres. <laughs> Isn't it? Good job we don't need these tyres, boys and girls. There's only one lap of fuel remaining. I actually didn't do too much damage to the wall. Oh, oh, oh. Don't hit any walls. Because this car will not take it. <laughs> right, come in at the end of this lap. What did we do? We did a 123.8. Wow. That's some lap time. Which put that in perspective, the current fastest lap time in P2 at Bahrain is 1 minute 31.261 by Valtteri, by Lewis Hamilton. 131.261. So I'm more or less seven seconds faster than him. I'm seven, seven, seven seconds faster than Lewis Hamilton. I can, I can live with that. Hydrating. I'm pressing the drink button because need to. Right then, this should be the last of qualifying. Let's have a look. I doubt there's anyone going to be too much faster than me. So far, our fastest lap is a 1 minute 23.8. Yeah, Bottas hasn't got much more than that. Verstappen, oddly, down in 10th. Like I say, two Haas drivers comfortably in Q3. The two Renault drivers and the two McLaren boys. And again, nice to see Lando ahead of Carlos Sainz as the true leader of that McLaren team.
There we go. Qualifying is done. We've got a pole position. And with qualifying complete, let's and review um, our top three today. Schumacher, Bottas and Daniel Ricciardo. Well, that wraps up qualifying, but don't worry. We'll be back tomorrow as we head into the Grand Prix. Once we turned the wick up on the car, we were a lot faster than everyone. In um, in free practice, it was much closer. Free practice one, I was about sixth or seventh in the timesheet. Free practice two, I was a little bit quicker because obviously I did my quali sim. So I topped the timesheets in Q2 because I did the quali sim. And then in Q3, I did eight laps on the soft tyres. So I was up there, but wasn't using rich mix and wasn't using hot lap. So once we turned everything up to 11, we are a lot faster, a lot, lot faster than these other cars. The and I haven't even really done any development yet. That. You made it look easy. Made it look easy. It's always good to qualify at the front, isn't it? How are you finding things at your new team? Are you settling in? Great. Well, that's everything. No, thank you, Claire. Right. So, race time. So, we've out qualified Bottas already, so that gives us a very slim lead. Um, we just need to obviously smash him in every race. Convince him that it's time to retire. <laughs> My claim is steadily rising. Well done. Right. That was a good qualifying performance. Good qualifying performance. Excellent. Right, let's have a look. Pre-race. Lead out of turn one and win by mi win by miles. Any questions? Yeah. How come Jeff is my engineer at Mercedes? Could we not have left him at Haas? Could I have not got a better engineer? I know I couldn't have got Bono because obviously he's uh, Lewis's Lewis's a. Uh, engineer but i would have loved to have had a better engineer than jeff right folks let's go do the race welcome to the 2020 formula one world championship here we are at the first race in what should be another thrilling season I think the action this year will be very, very close. But as always with F1, you can never be too sure. Anyway, let's get started. We'll be racing around 3.36 miles of the magnificent Bahrain International Circuit today. Keep an eye out for drivers locking the front left down into the tricky braking zone of Turn 10. A lot of driver changes, like I say. George Russell to Alpha. Bottas to Haas. Ferrari going with a rookie instead of a proven driver for their number two. Off the back of a fantastic qualifying session, it's time to see how our starting grid looks for today's race. Schumacher lines up on pole position and Valtteri Bottas will line up alongside. Considering the rest of the grid, we have Ricardo, Norris, Sergio Perez and Sainz, Leclerc, Grosjean, Ocon and Max Verstappen, Albon, Hamilton, Lance Stroll and Gasly, Kvyat, Russell, Antonio Giovinazzi and Kevin Magnussen, Latifi and Nick De Vries. And De Vries now got 10 it's place time penalty. to head down to the what? track. <laughs> What's De Vries done to get a penalty in the first race of the season? Let's go for the win. Okay, so it looks like we've got one stop strategy, medium to hards. I've got extra fuel on board. Perfect. Now let's see if I can remember how to do the race start procedure. Yep. 
Yes, I can. Got away well. lap just be a little bit calm because obviously the tires won't be at optimum yet like there for example all right we're looking good so far oh just lost it on that corner but thankfully had enough to keep bottas behind me going to get done for using too much ERS. I have done. Obviously I'm using Rich Mix still. Got three and a half extra laps of fuel to burn. So I'm going to do that. feeling a bit of a handful at the minute. Till it gets used to the fuel load. Obviously I don't practice with as much fuel in the car as we do get at the start of the race so the balance is a lot different. DRS will be enabled end of this lap. DRS is being enabled this lap. We can use DRS when you are within one second of the car ahead and in the DRS zone. So I'm going to watch out for Bottas having DRS. Which I've now broken the one second barrier to. So he won't have DRS. your overtake button more it's time to utilize some of this energy will do jeff use it use it through this section shall we the purple sectors one and two so this should be a fast lap this lap of the race good job that was the fastest lap of the race so far excellent well, this is three seconds down the road behind me all of those guys are on the soft tires which is good for me because they're gonna have to pit fairly soon I imagine Probably six or seven laps is all those tyres are good for. After having done quali as well on them. I think my pit window is about 11 to 14. So... 
Oh, got a bit of a uh, bit of extra room to wiggle. being used. Still running rich mix, trying to bring this fuel load down a little bit. Great work. That's a new fastest lap of the race. Turn the motor down at the end of this lap. Go back to standard mix. We built up a bit of a gap, which we can now just manage. Should be a fast lap too. We've gone purple in all the first two sectors. Was indeed. All right, turn the engine down. Let's focus on tyres now. See how we're doing. Spun the car. Not great. Bottas is right behind me now. Oh, I've lost all my advantage, folks. What a time to have a spin. Just as I took me eye off the ball, off the track, and was starting to worry about my tyres, I'm going to go and have a spin. Should have just left that. MFD change until later on in the lap. I've spun again. We're in a drag race now with a McLaren. Oh, a flipping disastrous lap. One saving grace is the fact that those guys are going to be pitting soon. But I'm oh, furious with myself for making those mistakes. Time to rich mix it back up again then. some more fuel. and co still
that a teammate behind is 5.2 seconds. Lewis, five seconds behind me. On the medium, same tyre, so he's probably doing the same strategy as me. Seven four extra laps of fuel. Be aware, we expect the grip levels to start falling away soon. Okay, Jeff. Roger that. need to uh, have another couple of clean laps, that's all. Someone pitted. It was strong. Yeah, don't hit that curb on the inside going into that corner because that just is going to mess you up massively. get on that corner either on the inside there because that will spin you we're approaching the pit window you'll be on the hearts back down to standard mix. Standard mix. Fuel is looking really good. You're managing it well. Thanks, Jeff. Managing tyres well too, Jeff. Probably think about charging my battery back up for a bit then. Because we've used a lot of ERS.
I'd feel a lot happier if um, Lewis boxed. Now, we're boxing this lap. No, we're not, Jeff. Lewis is the man. When Lewis boxes, we box. We're pulling away by about half a second a lap. We've got an opportunity to look after the car here. But as you can see, it only takes one spin to change all that, Jeff. So, um... going to be worried about too much of half a second a lap here or half a second a lap there because you never want to take things for granted. Lewis hasn't boxed this lap. Lewis must be absolutely pushing hard on his in that. Yeah, thought so. When I saw the, the time start Lewis to actually turn down, I thought he must be pushing. We're leading our teammate by 11.4 seconds. This lap then, come into the pits at the end of this lap. No, 
a bit of lean. Whilst we're just sat here. Very quick go, stop go, go. from the boys. 2.7 seconds. Excellent. That's a lot quicker than the Hass boys. That was our last stop. No more scheduled pit stops. And yes, I'm still running in lean. I know. I'll change back up in a second. So halfway through race distance, and uh... some information on Latifi. They're retiring from the race. Safety oh, car, you're safety car. Oh, joking me! No overtaking. Reduce your pace. Keep your delta number positive as we form up. Bloody safety car, really? Okay, slow down, slow down. Your delta is negative, which means you are too fast. Reduce your pace. Did not need a safety car. Right, they've just done that to spice things up a bit. I don't know. Approaching the safety car. You're leading, so don't pass it. Stay behind the safety car. Very nearly overtook it. Come on, Bert Mylander, get that car moving. So Hamilton, Stroll, Bottas, Ricardo is the current running order. I'm guessing Ricardo's took the opportunity to uh, come in and fit some new tyres. Mercedes 1-2. Driver of the day is clearly going to be Hamilton at this rate. Having started down in, what was it, 13th? If he uh, keeps this position. The field is really, really, really strung out. So, this safety car is going to be out for a few laps, I think. Make sure I don't run into the safety car. Take me front wing off. <laughs> to the safety car now do not pass it you are the leader follow the safety car okay field is still really really strong out look some of these cars are not going to catch the safety car queue
fucking sneeze. Excuse me. Please, I did that under the safety car. Safety car's not coming in this lap. And so we've got at least one more lap behind the safety car. Good news is I'm going to be able to turn the motor up. I'll have to because my race lead has been completely wiped out. the safety car approaching the safety car you're leading so don't pass it stay behind the safety car now what we don't want now is when we get do eventually get the restart we don't want everybody going nuts at the restart tripping over each other and then causing yet another you get into that scenario where it's just safety car after safety car after safety car then because everybody just starts getting really punchy on the restart i've got 2.26 liters of extra fuel so i'm going to be able to run Rich mix on the restart fairly comfortably. Taking this opportunity to warm my brakes. Start trying to get some heat into the core of the tyre. Hopefully that will then radiate out to the surface. Safety car's coming in this lap. Right, so we want to be controlling the speed. Safety car is in this lap. Safety car in this lap. You will be controlling the pace on the restart. Keep it steady until the safety car has reached the pit lane. at the fastest sector one of the race. Let's use overtake and burn some of this energy. Try to, Jeff. GRS deployment. But I've done well. I've got my lead. 
That was the fastest lap of the race. Keep this up. Couple of laps behind the safe car is doing well though because it's allowed me to recharge my entire battery supply. Okay, the stewards have now enabled DRS. DRS is now online. DRS is online. Good thing is I'm two and a half seconds ahead of Lewis. mix for a bit now. I've still got plus 1.44 litres of fuel. I spun it again. Why? On that corner every time. Oh. Are you okay? That was a nasty hit. Turn the engine off and wait for the I'm out the race. I'm out of the race. <laughs> Dreadful. Dreadful. A fantastic Lewis won, team man. effort then to secure victory here in the desert. What do you think it was, Ant, that gave them the edge over the competition today? Well, they played the safety car to absolute perfection. There are so many factors to worry about once the race is neutralized. I took out by the car the behind me. Rubber? Do you have the space behind you? How much fuel can you save? If you answer all of those questions correctly, you'll have a good chance. And that's exactly what happened today. There's Lando. Mercedes are on top form once again after an excellent race weekend. Bottas beat me. It's great oh, to see them up on that podium once that's again. That's not good for the rivalry. So disappointing. First race and I didn't finish. Got crashed. Couple of spins and disaster. You know? Wasn't on me A game today. 
was not on my A game at all. Let's see what effect this result has had on the driver's standings. Lewis Hamilton takes over the lead of the driver's championship after an excellent result. After an incredible day of racing, who was your driver of the day, Ant? Well, for me, it's got to be Lewis Hamilton. The multiple world champion may be the boring choice at this point, but you can't argue that he's a driver deserving of his reputation. It's time to see how things are shaping up in the Constructors' Championship. Mercedes moved to the top of the table. It's been an absolutely wild weekend of Formula One action. I can't wait to see what's next. It was Lance Stroll that hit me. It was Lance Stroll that took me out of the race. Which also took out um, Daniel Ricciardo as well. Oh, that's so annoying. I like Bahrain and I was expecting to win that. Not happy with that result. Really not happy with that. My claim's gone down. What's the next race? Where do we go to next in the season? It's going to be the Chinese Grand Prix. Okay. So I guess I'll be bringing you guys back for the Chinese Grand Prix in a couple of weeks' time. Um, and... Um, yeah, unfortunately, couldn't get the job done today. Had a good practice, had a good qualifying, was having a good race, had a couple of little spins. Um, and then, obviously, very costly one in the end, as it turned out, um, because I got took out of the race by Lance Stroll. So, um, yeah, no points after the first race. So got to bounce back in China and uh, hopefully do a better job. Thanks for watching today's video, everybody. I will see you all again very soon. Goodbye for now.